welcome. <laughs> this is Saji. It's you, Saji. Okay. All right. This is the week, Sagittarian. Ah, uh, you're here in this week. You're up for this week. What's happening? Um, I want to call in the pure light beams, um, the energy of the Sagittarian Sun, Moon, and Rising Sun. Pure light beams. I want you to be awakened and aligned in this week, Sagi. Whatever is happening, you need to be awakened and aligned in this week, okay? Sadness for you, Sagis. Oh, my Sagis. Sadness for the Sagis. Sadness for the Sagis, okay? All right, Sagis, no problem. Um, I'm just feeling a sense of sadness coming over me um, as I'm doing the Sagi reading okay a sense of sadness coming over me so I don't know what is happening this week is um, a fire week it's gonna be a good week to heal things let go of what no longer serves you um, you know realizing that maybe it is good to move on and leave a situation behind you because it doesn't serve you anymore okay all right, Saji, what is happening for the Sagittarius? The week begins from the 9th until the 15th. Let's check out. The Hermit is here. Something came out. Something came out. Some lies and deception came out. And the Hermit, um, whenever this, this energy of the Hermit comes out, um, you know, ladies and gentlemen, hold on because you're about to know something that you weren't aware of okay so something is going to unexpectedly come out I don't think someone wanted to you to know um, about this and I am seeing um, that this information and whatever happened um, someone is going to be bloody surprised to know that you found out what has been going on okay um, someone was trying to keep you in the dark for quite some time. This person is not really um, um, an honest person. They were trying to keep you in the dark. And what is happening and what is transpiring is that um, by keeping you in the dark, they will have more control over you. And I think that you guys found out what was happening and uh, um you basically um took your power back okay so um this is good and uh, um i'm saying to you sages um do not be you know what is what is happening is that some of you take your power back because someone you go inside and you see the truth about a scorpion it doesn't have to be a scorpion you go within and you see the truth your wishes and dreams is in a race okay um you have regrets your wishes and dreams is in a race you have some regret the but message of love is going to be coming in um and this message of love is coming in um, from a Pisces okay but what I'm seeing here is that I don't think you're interested you're no longer interested because it's as if you go within and you realize through meditation that it, a situation doesn't serve you anymore with the lovers <laughs> <laughs> sorry that um, I'm laughing so now I'm seeing what is happening and some of you are having an issue in a relationship with a Pisces some of you are having issues in a relationship with a Scorpio or however it, and, and it, it can be an intimate relationship it can be a marriage it can be whatever it is but you're definitely these are major arcana and when they're in the reverse um they are saying look look we shed light on something before and you didn't want it to look 
we tried to get you away from something and you didn't want it to go and now bam your wishes and dreams are in the erase from because you're holding on to something someone some place or some group of people but I see you have some regrets because it's as if whatever you are open and dream for it is kind of in a race with a relationship or with your marriage so there are situation that is and um, the queen of oyster comes up the queen of oyster come up now this is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn so if you're in a relationship with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn the queen of oyster comes up and if you're in a relationship with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn this this definitely um, comes up where um, this queen of oyster and a, a, a project so um, you Sagittarius is as if um, you were uh, at work dealing with uh, um, an older person or maybe someone um, in your age group and this is this is um, because of this person is your wishes and dreams is not going to be good okay um the hermit is that some of you are seeing the truth about your um partner or your husband or if you were in a relationship for a long time over 10 years you're seeing the truth about your partner you you're understanding and seeing the truth about your partner and it's not really nice you're 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 seeing the truth about your partner and it's uh it it, it hits you it, it really hits you okay I'm seeing love um, coming in and I'm seeing like a Pisces trying to uh, trying to make a comeback uh, but um, I, I, I think this is over you know if you were in a relationship with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn woman or if you want to go and work for this person it's gonna be um, you guys could make a good team but let me see cuz I'm, I'm, I'm gonna check out I gotta know I gotta know Saji first I gotta see why your nine of cups is in reverse why is the nine of cups reverse for the Sagittarius Sagittarius why is it that the nine of cups is in reverse for the Sagittarius surprise emotional um, situation at work so this is definitely a work situation or someone who is very deceptive and the Fox is for work but the Fox is also for deceptiveness okay remember that ladies and gentlemen um, the Fox is for work but the Fox is for deceptiveness okay so you gotta be um, careful um, what is transpiring here is that I'm seeing that you would have been lucky luck would have come to you but there is just some deceptive situation that has transpired okay um, so um, you're having your business is, uh, um, would have been successful but I'm seeing some little um, deceptiveness that is playing um, that you're not aware of okay I'm seeing some deceptiveness at play that you're not aware of and this is what is happening and transpiring okay creative jobs is going to be a successful so um, this is it and this is what if you have your own business if you have something that is creative um, it is going to become a success okay if you have some uh, uh, something that is creative it is going to become an, a success okay so um, you have a successful job and a creative job um, and this is this is pushing you to work for yourself okay so we're gonna go in and check out and see what is happening so the hermit and the nine of cups is something to do with a family the hermit and nine of cups is something to do with a family and it could be a soul family or a bloodline family.
that you're seeing the truth about uh, this person okay uh, someone and your heart is broken because you saw the truth about this person your heart is broken and uh, um, your wishes what you are hoping and wishes for is not going to happen and yeah sometimes it hurts but you know you're spiritually protected you have some regrets regrets about starting a relationship with someone new regrets about a child regrets about a new um, pro um, project you were trying to get online Re regrets about uh, um, a situation with your husband because you're finding out about someone else uh, and regrets about uh, um, walking away from a relationship or someone that no longer serves you um, where um, whatever you both had to work out um, it is now worked out okay so it could be um, that some of you had business um, with your husband you have business with your husband you were working on a project with your husband um, or um, a partner or a, or a family member you were working a, a husband a partner or a family member and um, devil the devil the devil the energy of the devil there is negative energy um some of you are sending negative energy to this woman and what is happening so whoever you are you're a sagittarius and you had a project with a taurus virgo or a capricorn a woman much older than you are and um you're hating on this woman because um you know this woman had to you know work through our own issues and move on in a pathway and you're hating on this woman you're sending negative energies to this woman you're trying to control this woman that this woman will say yes or do something for you but that shit isn't going to work okay it's just not going to work you know um hurt sign people hurt sign people are very because you're sending negative energies to this woman you know who you are out there you are between the ages of 18 and 45 and you wanted to work together with this person you have you have you have received so much help and you have become rich because of this person this person has helped you because they had collaborated uh, and this person had helped you but you have never ever turned around and because you profit from this lady and now you're trying to send negative energies to mess this lady up. And let me tell you something. You are the devil, but this woman is a bigger devil than you are. Okay. This woman is protected by the most eye. And this woman is one word that this lady say, you are out. So you might think that you're, have been here for a, an era and a lifetime. You have no idea who this woman is. Stop your shit. Don't know who that message was for, but so my guidance in guidance angels comes in. You are trying to take away this lady because this lady decide. Listen, this lady, this lady, she's not a psychic. She's not of this planet. Okay, this lady is not of this planet. So whatever you're trying to do to this lady, because obviously because of our, our, our project you have collaborated and this lady has helped you you are profiting and has been profiting from this lady and this lady I've realized that you were only connecting to profit from her so the lady did the best thing and she walks away because she realized that you have no idea what is collaboration because you don't know what to collaborate when you collaborate with someone is that whatever clients you get from that person because you use their information you're supposed to pay them that is collaboration but your collaboration because of certain uh, there are some people who are not aware of business wording and form collaboration means I send business to you you send business to me um you are going to because you're 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 um, taken from my client that my clientele that I bill up that means you're supposed to share and so whatever the situation is that this lady realized that 
you people have no idea so don't don't send your fucking shit and um um negative energy to the lady the lady has never done you anything the lady all she tries to do is to help you get a hold of yourself get a fucking hold of yourself sorry ladies and gentlemen oh my god you know seriously seriously what's wrong with you as a sagittarian because you know you can use this power that's why you're using it it's not meant to use to do people negative energy. It was meant to give help to people. You got this power to give help to people. And if you think that your negative energies can take this woman down, this woman is not from the planet, you bloody idiot. Back up. Okay? Whoever you fucking are, back up. This is, uh, this is totally out of context because the lady have helped you. You profit from this lady and because this lady decided that she's moving on because you people do not know what it is to pro to make um, a profit that you're going to be using negative energy and sending negative. The lady is from another planet. Hey, I don't know what's wrong with people. Why they think that negative energy is the only thing that to break and to shit. And I, you know, ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you, I don't deal with people who use negative energies, okay? Because we're here on this planet to learn from each other. And it's all about worthiness. It's all about worthiness. You feeling worthy and having every special talents that you will to help people to achieve their dreams. And you know what I, somebody says? Um, you know what somebody says? Um, it doesn't really matter what you do for people. There never fucking happens. And that's how you can know the hurt lanes. So all these people that are going around and saying, Oh, I'm from this and I'm from that. I don't need to say who the fuck I am and where I'm from and whatever. No, I don't need to say that because I know who I am. Wordiness, ladies and gentlemen. You know, as you're standing in the supermarket and, and getting your grocery, nobody knows who the fuck you are. You're just another person. And this is why I think that all of you who use a cash register should be, you know, have respect for the rest of the people, especially the cash register people. Okay. So whoever you are out there, it is very sick of you. Step back and look at your fucking self. You shouldn't be doing spiritual work if you're going to send negative energy to another person who have helped you to make you who you are. Back the fuck up because you are not from the light. Namaste, ladies and gentlemen.